And they're away. Again, they'll be running a 2K loop. So this is the first time that they'll be using the 2K loop on the Gans Creek course today. And then they'll run a 3K, then another 2, and then another 3 for their 10,000 meters. Again, Oklahoma State comes in as the top-ranked squad in the Midwest region. And Tulsa ranked 2, Iowa State 3, South Dakota State 4. Last year's championship squad, Oklahoma State, scored 43 with runners finishing in scoring positions 5, 6, 8, 9, 15. Iowa State was second a year ago. They were led by Wesley Kipto, who had the fastest time on the course in Iowa City, the Ashton Cross Country course. Kipto ran a 30-minute, 17-second 10K. This region has been well represented last year in the national championship as Iowa State was second a year ago in the team standings. Oklahoma State was third, Tulsa sixth, Minnesota 21st. And we've got three teams that are nationally ranked this year, led by Oklahoma State's fourth, Tulsa sixth, Iowa State 27th in the national rankings. Again, this is a, about a 5,000, a 500 meter straightaway start to let the runners sort themselves out before they get ready for their first turn, which is a huge loop at the south end of the course that'll go to their left and almost 360 degrees before they will straighten out the wiggle and go underneath the 1,000 meter split mark. Again, they will be navigating this long straightaway four different times in this race. We mentioned in the introductions, Ezekiel Rapp of Iowa State has run on the Gans Creek course and has run well on this course, having run a 2334.2 meters, which puts him second performer behind Eliud Kipsang of Alabama. In the SEC Championship last year in the 8K, Kipsang ran a 23.33. But again, the numbers, we can look at the splits at 8,000 meters and see how they're running compared to that, but they've got 2,000 beyond that for this championship race. Thirty-five degrees at the start of the men's race with the wind at 14 miles an hour coming generally out of the north and a wind chill of 25. So about three degrees warmer for the men than it was for the women. Through the first thousand meters with the uh, leader Hunter Klimek of North Dakota State, Kyler, Tyler Cushing of Illinois running second. And then you'll see two runners from Illinois State running third and fourth, Baptiste Tardivo and Matisse Chavon. Rodriguez of Oklahoma State, the first cowboy in the top five at fifth. Alec Danner of Bradley, sixth. Shane Kenishu of DePaul running seventh. Dominic Bruce of DePaul right with him running eighth. Team standings through the first 1,000 meters. It would be Illinois with 72, Tulsa with 96, DePaul 144, Loyola 150. We've had a uh, watch turned in near the Illinois box, and this is a um, Garmin fancy watch that does all kinds of things, and I think probably tells time too. It is uh, in the press box in the lost and found there. Klimek, the leader for uh, at the 1,000 meters, Hunter Klimek, who is a sophomore out of North Dakota State, ran on the second place Summit League team and was the best finisher for his squad, ran ninth in the Summit League at a 23-29, was not a part of the team 
from the Bisons of North Dakota State in the regional championship a year ago. And we'll see them coming down the straightaway towards the finish line. And again, if you were listening to Olivia Howell, who was the individual winner in the women's race, she said she wasn't really too aware of the wind when she was on the course. If you are going to be aware of the wind, this is one of the areas you'd be most aware of it because you're coming into the wind as this is a finish that comes on a north running straightaway. Look at the pack as they'll come around, and this will give them the 2K split. We're about 545 at the 2K split. And what a pack that is, led by Klemmick with a 550.6 split. That second kilometer for him was a 302. There were several splits under three minutes, including the split for Loyola's runners, Martins and Devaney, both split just under three minutes. And so they're stride for stride with Klimek now. 550 for the time at that first split. I'm trying to get the number of what that pack size is. That's about 36 runners within two seconds, two and a half seconds separating the first 36 runners. If you go down to that area about two and a half seconds behind the leader, you'd see Isaac Baston of Drake, who's been a successful runner for the Bulldogs. Chandler Gibbons, who has run well on this course. As a matter of fact, Gibbons ran a 23-39 at the Gans Creek Classic this year, and that puts him with the sixth best performance in an 8K here. We saw the race for the women's title unfold a bit differently than we've seen this race. We had a leader early in the women's race, five or six seconds for the first half of the race. And the separation was there. But the men are staying in a bunch. Let's give you the uh, team standings through 2,000 meters. Illinois 73, Loyola 103, Tulsa 110, Oklahoma State 167, DePaul 168. Again, if you're looking at the Midwest rankings, the regional rankings has Oklahoma State first, Tulsa second, Iowa State third, South Dakota State, and Loyola in that order, one through five in the rankings coming in. You would not find Illinois, which is leading at the 2,000-meter mark, among those top five ranked teams. Illinois comes in ranked 10th in the region heading into this weekend. Runners approaching what will now be their third kilometer split after going through this gate for the first K split. They'll be visiting this four times also. And there is a good crowd out there at that 1K split where there is a display board and we believe speakers. And here they come underneath the 1K so or 3K, 856. Baptiste Tardivo of Illinois State took over the lead, moved up four spots in the third kilometer. Ryan Martins of Loyola, Illinois, he also threw at 8.58 equal time to Tyler Cushing of Illinois. DePaul's Shane Kanishu with an 8.58 also. The top, we have to scroll down quite a ways because this is a huge group. The top 57 all under nine minutes at the split, running a pace that would put them under 30 minutes for 10K. 57 runners under nine minutes. And those 57 are separated by about three and a half seconds. So 57 in a lead group. 
team scores through 3,000 meters. 81, Illinois. Tulsa with 94. Loyola, 104. Oklahoma State, 141. South Dakota, 189. Those five schools all with team totals under 200 through 3,000 meters. The runners are going to be, uh, they are on a different part of the course now for the first time. Again, they run a 2K, now a 3K, then they'll go back to the 2K and the 3K. This loop takes them as far east as they'll be on this course. The steepest climbs and downhills are fairly short, but then the other changes in elevation have a longer space to them. 11 minutes into the race, they are approaching the 4K. They're about oh, 200 meters away from the 4K mark now. Tardivo, the leader from Illinois State through the 3,000 meter. Tardivo was 13th in the Missouri Valley Conference Championship. He ran on the Gans course earlier this year and finished 21st in the Gans Creek Classic, so he does know the course. Ryan Martins of Loyola. Running second at the last split. Martins ran a 23.59 on his way to the second place finish behind his teammate Chris Devaney in the Atlantic 10. As we saw in the women's race, our report from the field says Oklahoma State's team seems to be organizing as the Oklahoma State women did in that first race. They had a terrific final stage of the race to finish first in the team standings. 4,000 meters, it's now Shane Kenishu of DePaul with the lead. He's one of two under 12 minutes so a slower split, although that split was just over three minutes. 301 seemed to be a popular split for the fourth kilometer. Kanishu leading the senior out of DePaul. Right with him was Joseph Minor Williams of South Dakota State. Baptiste Tardivo of Illinois State hangs on. He dropped from first to third in that fourth kilometer. Martin's down a couple of spots for Loyola. And Ben Olson of South Dakota State moved up a couple of spots to get into the top five. Chris Devaney of Loyola, a gain of three spots in the fourth kilometer. Rodriguez, Danner, Bicey, McAvoy running the rest of the top 10 through 4,000 meters. Tulsa with 85. Loyola, 107. Illinois, 133. Oklahoma State 144, Iowa State 184. Again, Oklahoma State, Tulsa, and Iowa State come in ranked one, two, and three. Plenty of racing left. As they come on the turn into the straightaway, which will give us the halfway point of the race. They're just over 14 minutes into the run. Last year on his way to the win, Kipto averaged 3.018 per kilometer. Oklahoma State's Alex Mayer was one of the top returners from a year ago. Mayer averaged 3.02 and a half per kilometer in the Midwest Region Championship a year ago. Alec Baston averaged a 3.02 and a half. Victor Shitsimov from Oklahoma State a 3.026. So Oklahoma State runners back running again this year. We've had some uh, earphones, earbuds also turned in as lost and found now in the press box. 
And here they go at the halfway split. They'll be off on their third time down the straightaway, this time for a 2K loop. And the pack is still huge. Ryan Martin's leading, but again, not much separating this whole group. Forty-two under fifteen oh six, and the leader at fifteen oh three, almost a half. So forty-two separated by two and a half seconds, and we could have stretched that out a little bit more and found that the top seventy-five all under fifteen ten. So we're seeing Oklahoma State start to continue their creep up to the front, running at the 5K split, 10, 17, 18, their top three runners. Team scores through 5,000 meters. Tulsa with 70, so they've moved up. Loyola, 109. Oklahoma State, 123. Iowa State, 143. South Dakota State, 199. Tulsa with runners... How about this for a team run? Tulsa running 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Their runners, Michael Power, Shea McAvoy, Max Norris, Cormac Dalton, Isaac Akers, five for Tulsa in 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Right behind them, Alex Mayer and Rory Leonard of Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State also does have Rodriguez in the thick of things. Isai Rodriguez, the top runner for Oklahoma State, the defending champs. I saw Rodriguez last year in the Midwest region, 22nd, a three-time All-American for the Cowboys, running 10th at the halfway point. Ryan Martin, Shane Kanishu, Ben Olson, Joseph Minor Williams, Olson and Minor Williams running for South Dakota State in third and fourth, Chris Devaney. Second runner for Loyola out of Illinois, running fifth. His teammate Ryans was first. But again, this difference keeps jockeying for position. This is the second time around on the 2K loop. They're at 18 minutes of the run. Going through now at the 6,000-meter split. Canishu, DePaul continues to lead, split a 304. Ryan Martins running second, same split. Same split for Joseph Minor Williams. Ben Olson also all around 304 to 305 on the splits. Faster split for Stephen Kilhoffner of Kansas State. He moved up 25 spots in the sixth kilometer to cross the 6,000 meter split in sixth. He ran a 303 split. So his split a couple of seconds faster. Here comes Missouri's Marquette Hansen. Hansen up 14 spots with a three, sub 304 split. He's running ninth at 18.08 on his home course. Then you'll see Alec Danner of Bradley and his teammate Matt Aho. They have run 10th and 11th. Team standings through 6,000 meters. Tulsa, 89. Oklahoma State on the move with 117. Loyola dropped back a bit with a 127. Iowa State also trying to keep creep up into the top two spot with a 147 in fourth. And South Dakota State still in fifth with 195. South Dakota State led by their runners, Minor, Williams, and Olsen in third and fourth. Oklahoma State's top runner, I see Rodriguez in seventh. Alex Mayer in 15th for Oklahoma State. Rory Leonard in 21st. We talked about Ezekiel Ropp and his fondness for this course, running the second fastest 8K on this course. He's in 23rd. Again, the group not separated by much. The 
First place runner at the 6,000 split, 1808. And to get to 1809, a second separating the top 19. So just a second with 19 runners. Our spotter from the course as Oklahoma State has really bunched up and has pulled their team together now. This is the same strategy that we saw in the women's race. The second half, latter stages of the race, especially the last third part of the race, pulling together, making their move then. This is the third time down the straightaway towards what will eventually be the finish line on their fourth run on this part of the course. They make the sweep around the turn, head back for the fourth go at this 500 meter straightaway with the wind behind them. And again, a strong group. Through 7,000 meters, separated barely by a couple of seconds are the top 40 runners. The group is content to let DePaul senior Shane Kanishu continue to lead through a 2106. That was a fast kilometer split, several under three minutes. 258 and 257s on that seventh kilometer split. Ryan Martins, Chris Devaney of Loyola now running second and third. Ben Olson of South Dakota State fourth. Isaac Baston of Drake has moved up into the top five. Joseph Minor Williams, South Dakota State, the second of the South Dakota State runners. He's running sixth. Alex Mayer of Oklahoma State moved up eight spots in the seventh kilometer. And now he's in seventh. Alec Danner of Bradley up a couple of spots. First time we've seen Clayton Duchesek of Wichita State in the top ten. He moved up four spots with a 258-5 split. Cormac Dalton of Tulsa and Shea McAvoy of Tulsa running 10th and 11th. Another Tulsa runner running 13th. Asai Rodriguez tucked in between them in 12th. Split team at 7,000. Tulsa 67, Oklahoma State 93, Iowa State 121, Loyola 122. Tulsa has lurked in those top couple of spots for most of the race. They were second after the first 1,000 meters. Oklahoma State was fifth. Tulsa really pulling together a strong group at the front of the pack now. Tulsa runners. Cormac Dalton, Shea McAvoy, Isaac Akers, Michael Power, Luke Lambert. They had their top five within the top 17 at the last split at 7,000 meters. They're on their last loop. This is a 3K loop. And they're already getting close to the eight kilometer split. And that is what was also their first K split. So this is where they made the big loop at the south. They're done with that portion of the course now. And we'll see how things change through that kilometer. Tulsa had 67, Oklahoma State 93 at the last split at 7,000 meters. Here they come across at 8,000. Ryan Martins of Loyola leads at 24057. Same time for Canishu. Cormac Dalton within two tenths of a second. Chris Devaney, second runner from Loyola, Illinois. Shea McAvoy, Isaac Akers from Tulsa. Tulsa now moving up into fifth and sixth. Marquette Hansen of Missouri, another eight spot improvement. Into seventh now for the senior from Mizzou. With a 24.06, he split a 2.58 along with the rest of that front pack. Tulsa has another runner in eighth. Oklahoma State Leonard in ninth. Baston of Drake in tenth. Rodriguez, Oklahoma State in 11th. Rop 
has moved up 15 spots in the eighth kilometer for Iowa State. He's starting to show the move. He went through 8,000 meters at 24.06. 8,000 record on this course is a 23.33. So they're going 2,000 beyond that and still on a pace that brings them in at about a three-minute kilometer split. About three oh between three and three oh one per kilometer now for the leaders. This pack refuses to yield. There are thirty at two ten or under, and the leader was at about the thirty at twenty four ten and under, and the leader was at twenty four oh five seven. Splits for 8,000 meters team, Tulsa 56, Oklahoma State 67, Iowa State 87. Tulsa running 3, 5, 6, 8, and 34. Oklahoma State 9, 11, 13, 16, and 18. And then their sixth runner is in 19th. Oklahoma State with six runners in the top 20. Rory Leonard leading the way. He was a runner-up in the Big 12, 79th in the NCAA National Championship with a 30-02 or 30-02 last year. He was 15th in the Midwest region a year ago. Missouri's leader is Marquette Hansen. Hansen up into the top seven at the last split. They are going to be coming through as we check the uh, monitor through 9K, the final split before the finish. And they're getting ready to cross that right now, and we'll get the splits. And the final 1,000 meters has begun for the leaders. At 9,000, Ryan Martins of Loyola stays in the lead with a 26.51. That last thousand meters 246 it is going to be a battle between Tulsa and Oklahoma State for the team title Tulsa with 50 through the 9,000 meters Oklahoma State with 52 and then the battle for the championship Ezekiel Rop of Iowa State moved up 10 spots in the ninth kilometer to take second he is trailing the leader by less than two seconds this is the biggest split we've seen in the standings since the race began with Martins at 26.51.7, Rop with 26.53, and then a 26.54 for Dalton of Tulsa, Rodriguez of Oklahoma State. Those are the top two leaders for the top teams. Michael Power of Tulsa, Shea McAvoy of Tulsa, Isaac Akers of Tulsa, Power, McAvoy, Akers, five, six, and seven. Victor Shitsuma of Oklahoma State has now moved into ninth. Rory Leonard in 11th, so three of the top 11 for Oklahoma State. Alex Mayer, the fourth runner for Oklahoma State. Looks like it's going to come down to the fifth runners. And right now the fifth runner for Tulsa at the last split of 9,000 meters, 29th, Oklahoma State's fifth runner at 15. Oklahoma State, again, doing what they did in the women's race, organizing in the latter portions of the race, pulling together as a team and climbing up in the standings kilometer by kilometer. Tulsa and Oklahoma State, 50 and 52 at 9,000 meters team-wise. Ezekiel Rapp on the move to see if he can put another first place finish on the Gans Creek course. They're going to be coming onto the straightaway in front of the fans at the final 300 meters. Martins has been the leader for Loyola for quite some time. Martin's at 23.59, and here comes the Oklahoma State runners. And Oklahoma State will have the champion at the finish. That's Rodriguez, who moved up three spots. Martin's fades to second. Then Dalton 
McAvoy, Akers, Power, all for Tulsa. Where's Tulsa's fifth man? Second runner for the Cowboys, Shitsuma is seventh. Seepert of Iowa State. Eighth, Baston from Drake, ninth. Titus Winders of Iowa State, tenth. And then you'll see the next two runners in 12th and 13th, Leonard and Mayer for Oklahoma State. Going to be enough for the Cowboys to likely get a championship. And Marquette Hansen of the Missouri Tigers will be the first host school runner to finish in 11th. Ezekiel Rob faded to 14th in the last kilometer, joined by his teammate Chad Johnson. They go 14th and 15th. And then two more Oklahoma State runners, Alex Stitt and Jonas Price. Oklahoma State finishing six runners in the top 20. Tulsa and Oklahoma State right now tied at 49. We'll get some of these runners finishing and get more runners underneath the finish line sensors before we tell you how we break that tie. Twenty-fifth runner, Shane Kanishu, who was the early leader for DePaul. Looks like he will have a spot and get an award here when we do the awards in a while. Finished twenty-fifth and thirty oh eight point nine. Twenty-nine forty point one. The top nineteen runners all under thirty minutes on the ten K. People look at the 10K record here at this course, and this is the first 10K. They're going to see the 2940.1 by Isai Rodriguez of Oklahoma State as the fastest. Team standings, Tulsa 49, Oklahoma State 49, Iowa State 73. How do you break the tie? You look at the first runner for each team. Tulsa's first runner was third, Oklahoma State's was one, so that's one Oklahoma State. You look at the second runner, Tulsa's runner was fourth, the second runner, Oklahoma State's was seventh, that's one for Tulsa. The third runner, Tulsa's runner was fifth. Oklahoma State's was 12th. That's another one for Tulsa. Then you look at the fourth runner. That fourth runner for Tulsa was sixth. Oklahoma State's was 13th. That's three for Tulsa. And then the fifth runner, 31st for Tulsa, 16 for Oklahoma State. That's two for Oklahoma State. So what you do is head-to-head -head on your top five runners, and whichever school gets the better of that matchup will be the winner when you break the tie, Tulsa, then Oklahoma State. Top two squads from the men's competition, Tulsa and Oklahoma State. Iowa State third with 73. Loyola, 156. Wichita State, 184. South Dakota State, 204. Illinois, 257 in seventh. Bradley in eighth with 271. Minnesota in ninth with 283. Drake, tenth with a 320. The two that count, Tulsa and Oklahoma State. Iowa State's going to have to hope for an at-large bid. Two squads automatically qualify, and then the at-large will fill out the field of 31 in next week's championship at Stillwater. 13 schools waiting to see if they'll be called to be a part of that field. Folks, we'll have the awards momentarily at the Greg Hall Awards Stand.
We'll start with the women just as soon as we can get that stage. So the top 25 women and the top two squads and staff can head that direction. And we will be recognizing those student athletes at the awards stand momentarily.